dude. <laughs> Whoa, I'm swearing. Today, yesterday we were playing John Mayer. Beautiful and, lit. And today, and today we're playing Pasta of Muppets. My Pasta uh, of Muppets. Yeah, that's our, that's that's our tribute to our version, a Pasta of Muppets. It should be a, a Greg's. Greg's was a Greg's. It should be like they should have like a sausage roll. That's anyway, well, whatever. today we are really talking about uh, this little pedal. Welcome back, by the way, to Anderton's TV. Yeah. Uh, the home of tone. Uh, I think sometimes. Um, <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Like the video. Subscribe yes, to the channel. If Kermit was here right now, you know what he would say? <laughs> With probably a wah-wah on his voice. Yeah. He would say, please like and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. So you don't miss anything um, like this. Anyway. Anyway, so yes, <laughs> we got a bit of a deal on uh, the TC Electronic Mimic Mini. It's not just a deal, it it's is a an... Exactly, there yes. you go. So <laughs> 29 quid buys you this little pedal in the middle here while stocks last until we run out. Pedal in the middle. Um, and it's a double tracking pedal. Now double tracking, what is that? I hear you ask. Yes. Um, it, is a, it is a studio recording technique where either two guitar players play the same thing at the same time. Which or never the, works properly yes. because nobody, you know. Or the same guitar fight. player goes back <laughs> and plays what he recorded before, what he or she recorded before again on top of the first time. Yeah. And because it's impossible to play the same thing completely exactly right at the same time. Impossible. impossible. It's impossible. Um, you get this double track sound where track it just beam. gets fatter. <laughs> yeah. uh, and kind of um, not, we're not talking chorusy kind of pitch modulation -y kind of thing. We're just talking about this fattened guitar sound. So it's a pretty cool technique. And yeah. uh, TC Electronic came up with this uh, larger format pedal uh, called the Mimic. Um, which kind of had a, a, the, the ability to actually have three additional elements of double tracking, plus it had stereo out so you could assign, you know, e uh, different <laughs> double tracks to each side. <laughs> did, did, um, did, did, did. And so then TC bought out the mini version of that Mimic pedal uh, in its very popular kind of mini format. And it's kind of doing the same thing, but you lose a couple of features. So you lose the stereo outputs, um, so everything's summed into mono, which is what you're hearing us using today. Uh, and this will just do two uh, sort of one layer of double tracking. So you get the original yeah. guitar sound plus one extra. So you don't get the, the extra, extra ones, the, the extra, extra bigger extra ones. One. Um, three controls on here, uh, an ability to control the level of the, the dry, the original tone. Uh, ability to control the level of the double tracked tone Track. and an ability using the tightness control to um, adjust how tight do you want that double track to the original track. All the way off is its tightest mode, all the way up is its loosest yeah. mode. So the clever thing on the Mimic, which I, I have to be honest with you, I hadn't even realized until we uh, read the manual before doing this demo, huh. is all the clever software technology that went into the Mimic is that the double tracking algorithm is designed to emulate the fact that you can never play the same thing twice exactly the same. Yeah. So it's not taking exactly what you did the first time and just layering it over the top. It's actually trying to sort of simulate all those slight different tempo and pitchy and attack kind of things that are almost identical but not completely identical. Yeah. So it's really that's, clever. That's very clever. Um, now that's difficult to do. I kind of feel, certainly when you look at the TC website, everything talks about a kind of a heavy rock kind of or a metal kind of vibe where they would use the double track sound. Yeah. But in this video, we're going to try and see does it work stylistically with other sounds as well. Yeah. Um, but I've got to say it's 29 quid now on a special offer. Uh, if you live in the UK, uh, you get uh, you have to basically spend £99 to get free shipping. So if you buy the pedal on its own, it's £5 shipping. Um, and But obviously if you do it as part of a, a bigger purchase, you might get free shipping on this. If you live outside the UK, we knock the VAT off, so the pedal drops down to about £25, and then you pay shipping and duty on top of that. I think it roughly works out if you live in America, this still arrives with you for about 35 pounds, including shipping, wow. which is crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, That's cheap. we have a big number of these to sell. We have about two and a half to 3,000 of these to sell. That's how we got <laughs> the price down. But in the first week of selling these with no promo whatsoever, yeah. we've done about 700 of them already. So I'm kind of thinking like, 
This probably that, once this video goes out, if the world goes mad, maybe you've got a couple of weeks to grab one of these. I think I, I think that's know. a great idea. It does, yeah. it does make a difference. We're also going to have a quick swizz around with the new Mojo Mojo Paul Gilbert pedal. Not going to go too deep into this. No, uh, but we'll what, do that in another video. Yeah. So what we're using is a, a Victory Kraken, which is a, a, a tube amp with a bit of gain in it, quite a bit of gain, but we've got it on a, a lower gain setting and then we're often using the Mojo Mojo to just push it a bit harder. So hopefully yeah. most of you will have an amplifier with a bit of grit and an overdrive pedal to get a bit more grit out of it. What's that? will be able to see what the... That's What's just that? hitting the front end of the amplifier. <laughs> uh, so, Pete, can we hear some picked single notes with no mimic on it at all? With you this uh, um, Brian Welch... From Corn signature. Mm. Wasn't Brian LTD. Welsh in the shadows? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can see him play both with this guitar. Absolutely. This is just a seven string guitar with some uh, Fishman Fluent pickups in it. It's good for this kind of stuff, isn't it? So single notes, you say? Yes. Okay. Single attacked, <laughs> like. Da, da, da. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's funny here because I noticed when you're playing lots of gain, let's say lots of gain, and you're doing these kind of... And you put it, put it on... It's there, but it's there's more when the tone is not as gainy, when you just did that. You know what I mean though, you can, you can tell more, but I don't know, because well, I've never a, used this pedal before, it's my first time. It's a subtle effect, and that's why I kind of, it's, if you, if you play those picked individual notes, I'm not suggesting that's how you have to play to, to no, use no, no. this pedal, it's almost, that's just the most obvious way to show you what it's doing. Obviously what you would do is just play all those kind of fat riffy things and you have it on underneath, and it just gives that extra element of fatness. But you can tell that cleverness that's inside the pedal that it must change the, the algorithm or whatever's oh, happening so inside the pedal when I'm doing other to things. Do that, because I'll put it, what yeah. I'll do is I'll go from its sort of maximum looseness to its minimum looseness, <laughs> if that's a word. From loosey to goosey. Uh, loosey to gooseys. <laughs> That's almost a slap back. Yeah, it's isn't almost it? a So now we're so up now, again. So now it's on its Yeah, so when it's its tightest yeah. mode, the t it's playing two notes, but they're almost uh in discernment. If that's it. It's funny it's more on this on this string here on the on the G And if I go Still there. That's, for me, That's awesome. Yeah, for me, double tracking just takes a, f a relatively flat sound. Dun, 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 dun. You know, it's it's quite two dimensional that kind of sound. And then it just kind of makes it a bit more three-dimensional, you know. So it's not it's not an effect like distortion or delay or whatever no. where there's a real thing happening. But anyone um, anyone who plays that kind of or even a bit more gain to, yeah. to that. I think it's great. It's, I think it's, it's awesome. one of those pedals. The more I use it, the more I am, the more I hear the extra aliveness when you. And it's almost when you switch it off, you just go, "Oh, why, what, what why is the sound gone yeah. flat?" You know. Um, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. It's true bypass. Um, you can't put a battery in this. You have to have a power supply. Um, I Does it think, do tone print? Do you know what? It's, no, I don't think it's a tone print pedal, but it's got no, a it's USB the socket on the side okay. for uh, um, software updates, oh. firmware updates. Okay. And I think we've included this in... We do a promotion where we have selected 
pedals, mainly affordable pedals, where if you buy two of them, uh, you get a free power supply that we throw in, like a daisy chain, wall walk kind of power supply. Oh. Uh, and I'm pretty sure the Mimic's been included in that. So maybe, you know, check out the website. Maybe there's some, you know, maybe you're shopping for some other pedals as well, and you can get that thrown in for free. Um, Links are below. It's crazy, really, isn't it? I mean, I, I like that. So let me just... Um, Do you want to play some blues lately? Yeah, well, I just want to see <laughs> what else it might... So if we go back to a, a, a relatively clean sound... Oh, you took, you've took got reverb on there now. Yeah, well. I have. So let's go back to a relatively clean sound now with this uh, just Squire telly. And see what happens if we... Now, I might not want it quite so loose. Let's have a look. It reminds me, and I can't think what lick it reminds me of specifically, but when you hear Stevie Ray on the Let's Dance album, the David Bowie state, it kind of, it's got, I wonder if, I don't know if they double tracked that or, or what. It's almost it's like a pre, that. it's almost like a pre-delay on the reverb. When a signal, signals come in a bit later. Yeah. Just do a, just do an A at nine chord, you know, the Prince chord there. It's almost that, it gets that. We were looking for. Is it? But it's not chorus sound, but it, because it creates a false I understand ear what, thing that where yes. you, with the two things that are kind of working against each other, which is a chorus thing, isn't it? That's what it is. Chor so once you double track yeah. something, DT, let's call it DT, so not DP. Chorus is, the effect is, take this exactly the same signal and detune it slightly and then you get this intermodulation between the two things so you're completely right to yeah. say that double tracking is a similar yeah. vibe but it's not you can also quite tune your guitar the same. slightly down it, it do you know what it is it is more sounding like a slapback is, is yeah with, of, it, with the key. Yes, but that kind that's, of vibe, that's, but you know, I don't, you know what, I mean, I kind of, if I, it's just got something. Well, that's what a lot of like, like Joss Smith, for instance, or he uses a slightly bit of slapback delay, yeah. but just a one repeat, like things are just there, yeah. just in the background. That is kind of what that sounds like to me there. I don't, I honestly don't mind it. Yeah, I mean, uh, just a bit of super. just sound a bit more interesting. And you're, you're right, I think we said that enough, haven't we really? I, mean, I kind of think so. We, it just sounds more interesting. It, anyway, there you go. Links below <laughs> to the uh, Mimic Mini Doubler. Be quick on that one. Mojo Mojo has only just been announced, actually. So, you know, if you like that, uh, we'll do another demo of this another time, I'm yeah, sure. Because that one goes to 11, um, I've heard. Absolutely. Uh, that's it. Thank you very much for joining us today. Have a wonderful time and we'll see you in another video soon.